ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laughing Man here. How are you all today? I hope you're doing amazing. Uh, I actually recently got this replay from the CSL Starlink website. They're actually doing an application right now for casters. You can just chuck one in and they might accept you and you might get some uh, some work. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm doing that. Because uh, when I say I need some work, I haven't been casting in a little bit. So it's probably very rusty, but uh, you can see what I can do. The top right position on GSL Daybreak, we have Hybris. He is actually from the uh, Louisiana State University. His name is Lance Heimel, and he's our Cyan Protoss player. Got a Protoss in this map, it's always good. At the top left, we have a, we have a Zerg player, Putt Putt. He is uh, from the University of Regina. His name is Kyle Smith, and he's going to be our uh, Zerg player. He's orange. I like orange, it's uh, pretty. Anyway, this map daybreak. It's, it's going a little bit, a bit of analysis right here. The third base for the Zerg is pretty easy to take, of course, but unfortunately. Uh, when the third base is here, it's actually very vulnerable to all-in sometimes. Just this spot here, yeah, kind of always lose your third base. If they do some really crazy all-in, unless the Zerg is really on top of it, uh, the, he's got a very, very wide ramp here. But it's okay with the flanks if they have Zerg, and this can kind of come around. But uh, all in all, it's uh, pretty difficult to uh, kind of defend them. But uh, this, this base does really favor um, two-base play because, well, this is very hard to break once they, uh, the Protoss can actually... Uh, and right here, oh, and he does cancel the forge. He didn't actually, he actually got that here, which is, doesn't actually cancel. That's actually going to delay it just a little bit. That means he did actually, uh, yeah, so he was going to try and go for hatch first, obviously, but uh, didn't actually work because the pro the probe was there. And uh, this, it's a very odd position too. Uh, I guess like if he gets dropped, you can't really uh, pick it off. Very odd. The probe is zapping it away. Anyway, he did actually want to go uh, forge first, which is interesting. Uh, what I would like, uh, I, I would probably do Nexus first in this situation, just purely because it's such a, a long rush distance. It, it literally takes, I think, about 50 seconds to uh, get some Zerglings here to go all the way over here. Um, yeah. So, all I would really do is bring two uh, probes down here and zap this uh, drone away, and it should be no problem. Uh, but he's doing it now anyway, so he's saving up the money. He's coming down now, and he should be okay. So right now, this uh, drone is going to eat away at this, and he's going to try and get this down. So he can't actually lose this drone. He needs to run away. Oh, and he actually does lose that. Pretty big blunder right there. And there we go. Nexus is actually down for Hybris. Bet he's happy about that. So right now, uh, the cannon is actually delayed by quite a bit. Uh, I would be getting definitely that gateway down as soon as possible. And right here. Um, it seems a bit... Uh, I would put a pylon here, and uh, a cannon here. Cybercore about here, so a little, little uh, passage there should be all good. Walls in this map is a bit, a bit annoying, and wow, he actually did uh, stop a hatch going down here, which is great. He's actually putting a lot of minerals, so he did a very, very good job at that, and the wall is uh, oh, a pretty wonky wall. It's still going to be a good wall nonetheless, but it's pretty wonky. I don't know, I would never pay uh, Hybris to be my construction work, that's all I can say. Um, so third base will be coming down very shortly, it's about the time. Uh, whenever it does head over there. The Queen is out, so uh, surprisingly another Queen hasn't actually been made either, but uh, yes, the Queen is actually going to be going over there to be doing that, but it's fine. This isn't Grandma's level play, so... Let's take a little bit of that and... Oh, he's a wall in. Oh, wow, he's actually walling in. This usually indicates to me some kind of all in, maybe? Uh, usually, because you wouldn't really want to destroy the pylon here, like... That uh, seems very, very interesting. I don't know, but the... Uh, Actually, I think what we're really going to see is, has he actually taken his gases? He just got them then, so uh, I think around 4.10 he got them, actually. So this usually indicates to me that he's going to be going for a plus one, right, very, very early, then right up when that finishes, a gateway. So right now he's going to be scouting. So uh, does he know anything about this third base? He's about to come in, he's like, uh-oh, I know what's coming. So that's really, really good for him. And right now he wants to scout the scout for gases, and I don't know why he's going there. He should be scouting probably the main. Uh, seems a very weird timing. Alright, so he's going up there, and yes. So, actually, wait, he does actually get the plus one, and he does get gates. So, this is going to be really interesting. It's really going to be depending what uh, what tech path he goes down. I'm going to be assuming it's a bit, uh, going to be a bit of robo, just purely because uh, this, this really smells like a, a century immortal into me, and oh, yeah, we have a robo. We have a robo. Just because I actually did a, a build order guide on this, actually. So, I've been, I've been doing this so much recently on the ladder. All the Zergs have been hating me, and it's been great. So, uh, third base for our Zergy Zergy play is actually coming up right now, and he actually hasn't set the rally point for his workers. So, hopefully, uh, rectifies that pretty quickly. You go to the income tab, we have 31 workers to 28, so the Protoss is ahead because there's been Chrono boosting those workers out like a boss. And, oh, actually, wow, what a weird position right there. I really like that. I've never actually seen, I've never actually ever thought about putting my probe there. I might start doing that from now on. 
uh, but no gases have been taken out. Never mind, just as I say that. You should get about 40 is the time you want to get the second gas. 38 to 40 is usually the time you want to get if you're doing a century or more. And he's getting some more sentries. So this pretty much looks more and more. What? He's getting a warpism first. Never mind, he might be doing some uh, crazy aggression with his warpism right here. Roach one is coming down as well on 46 supply. Um, this is another interesting fact. I would actually probably like to see this around 50 or 60. I, I think that 46 is cutting your drones a bit too early. But it's fine. Again, uh, this final, this is actually even more surprising. I'm surprised he's actually taking his gas yet. But he is actually getting, uh, the Wolfism is going to be done. And here we go. Wolfism's coming in. And... Yeah, there we go. He does like, just kind of get them in. And he's going to be uh, rolling out, ready to roll out. And I, I like this actually. I, I never actually thought of doing this. Actually, actually, as a hybrid, doing some more prism drops while you're doing. It. So yeah, he's actually getting a mortal. So this will be in a more in a more central and with some uh, uh, with some crazy. Uh, oh yeah, it is. So taking on four more gates. This is going to be that. Uh, he's such a cool build. I never actually thought of doing this. So uh, he actually gets my uh, vote of confidence. He's actually in six gates while this is up. The circling speed just finished was plus one armor. Whoa. That's, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't really agree with that because you should be taking damage anyway. So anyway, is he going to be walking in a sentry or is that what we're about to see? That sentry does actually come on in. So, sentry's about to come on in, and here it goes. We'll go on the main base, it is going to. Is there anything here? Is this actually, he could actually, uh, do he, he could actually, uh, get the main, but I don't think he really wants to. He wants to kill some drones. Right here, he's coming on in. Let's have a look at the, uh, workers' kill town tab. And, wow, that's actually quite a lot. He got uh, three, four going up. It's gonna be five. It's five, and uh, it's gonna be six. And wow, interesting. Eight workers. That is huge right there. He's actually killed some roaches. His roach is being tickled to death. That would be a very weird, weird way to go. So right here, we go to the income tab right here, and uh, 47 workers to 38. He's been battered right now. And whoa, holy oversaturation right there. His income has been decimated right here. How many mortals does he have right now? He's got uh, two right here. He's getting a third one. Well, this is a really powerful all-in. This is a, as all-in I think as you can get. It's a very late uh, all-in though, which is uh, pretty crazy. Side here, he's actually drawing up a little bit more. He's doing these creep spreads. So his creep spread isn't that bad right now. I think he needs to work just a little bit more. But uh, as of course, uh, yeah, he actually does actually fight away that war prism all being, uh, being annoying with those uh, He's being annoying, as per usual, with what they always usually do. So this overall is going to probably scout this, but uh, at the moment, oh, it's going to be close. So he does coming in, so he does scout some gateway. He's going to scout all of this. He knows that a six gate is coming at least, so he's probably going to be gathering. He's going to be a six gate robot. He just killed the forge and get him away for it. Punches it down like a man. So uh, yeah, with three immortals, this is going to be so dangerous. Four immortals. What? This is going to be. Call your doctor, this is going to be unfortunate. The Wolf Prism's still alive, so, uh... Is he going to bring this immortal? I hope he does. Does he forget it? Oh my god, that's going to be... Oh, okay, he might actually forget it. Yep. Well, that immortal is just going to be, like, late to the party. Uh, does he have an observer with the arm? Because Burrow could kill him. Does he actually have Burrow? No, he actually doesn't. He's actually very lucky about that. No, the Burrow is on the way. It's actually 60 seconds away. Ugh. I actually don't get the dangers of this, but he's going to have to get some good force from right here. He's going to be running on in. He actually gets, Zerk actually gets a really good position. He's running on in, but I think so many Immortals doing so much damage. I honestly don't think he can really do anything right here. Immortals are just ripping apart these roaches. Force is a really good. Spire Calls have not been finished, and Papa leaves the game. Immortals are good, man. Wow, this is the uh, Century Immortal all in. This is actually really cool because uh, I just picked a replay at random. They kind of just got the build that I've been learning for the uh, <laughs> for the past uh, about two, three weeks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please subscribe. And you know all the jazz. Uh, thank you again, CSL. Uh, CSL. Hope you guys uh, consider me for the for the position. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.